Morning Prayer on Monday the 28th of November. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God of all. To you be praise and glory for ever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of the night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 54. In this psalm, David cries to God to help him when he's feeling overwhelmed. Save me, O God, by your name and vindicate me by your power. Hear my prayer, O God. Give heed to the words of my mouth, for strangers have risen up against me and the ruthless seek after my life. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who upholds my life. May evil rebound on those who lie in wait for me. Destroy them in your faithfulness. An offering of a free heart will I give you and praise your name, O Lord, for it is gracious. For he has delivered me out of all my trouble, and my eye has seen the downfall of my enemies. And a prayer in response. O living God, reach through the violence of the proud and the despair of the weak to create in Jesus Christ a people free to praise your holy name, now and forever. Amen. This week, the readings are taken from the book of Isaiah. In this passage, the prophet is speaking on behalf of God to the people of Israel who were to be God's servant to do his will and proclaim his name and his ways to the earth. Listen, you that are deaf and you that are blind, look up and see who is blind but my servant or deaf like my messenger whom I send. Who is blind like my dedicated one or blind like the servant of the Lord? He sees many things but does not observe them. His ears are open, but he does not hear. The Lord was pleased for the sake of his righteousness to magnify his teaching and make it glorious. But this is a people robbed and plundered. All of them are trapped in holes and hidden in prisons. They have become a prey with no one to rescue, a spoil with no one to say, restore, who among you will give heed to this? Who will attend and listen for the time to come? Who gave Jacob up to the spoiler and Israel to the robbers? 
Was it not the Lord against whom we have sinned, in whose ways they would not walk, whose law they would not obey? So he poured on him the heat of his anger and the fury of war. It set him on fire all around, but he did not understand. It burned him, but he did not take it to heart. So that time of wilderness, in that time of wilderness, we know that God is still faithful to his people. And here is a song of the wilderness in response. It's taken from, again from Isaiah, excerpts from chapter 35. The wilderness and the dry land shall rejoice. The desert shall blossom and burst into song. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weary hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, be strong, fear not. Your God is coming with judgment, coming with judgment to save you. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like a heart and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return with singing, with everlasting joy upon their heads. Joy and gladness shall be theirs and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. And God indeed has come to redeem his people and to set them free. So we sing or say now rather the words of the Benedictus. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Let us now pray. Let's pray for the church, that the church may be ready for the coming of Jesus. Pray for our local worshipping communities and for our diocese and for all church leaders. Lord, we pray that we may be more and more ready as your bride, a fitting, a fitting tribute to the work of Jesus. Thank you for your love for us, the church. Thank you for drawing us to yourself. Lord, may your love 
cause us to become more and more like Jesus, more and more prepared to be united with Jesus forever as a worthy companion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And we pray today for those who are struggling with faith. Those who are struggling with illness, struggling with poverty, those who are calling out to God to rescue them from the circumstances that they're in that feel like a pit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for those who are working for justice in the world, those who are working for the rescue of peoples who are oppressed in any way, those who speak up, those who take action, Lord, we pray that your kingdom will come and that your heart for justice will be seen. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So we come to the collect for the day. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light. Now, in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to us in great humility, that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal, through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory as our Saviour taught us, so we pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.